So you always want to make sure that you have your gloves on when you're getting ready to perform any procedure. You want to go ahead and place your tourniquet onto the patient. The tourniquet is only allowed to be on for no more than one minute. This will allow you to be able to see the veins easily. They'll come up more towards the surface. And you want to make sure you palpate. So palpating is pretty much when you're going ahead and pressing on the skin. So you want to palpate. You could check both arms if you like, just to see if you find a better vein. Even if you found one in the other arm, go ahead and check the other arm to see if you can find a better vein. So you're going ahead and you're checking. You're checking to see if you feel anything pretty much bounce back Remember, the tourniquet can only stay on for one minute. So once you find the vein, you want to go ahead and prepare your tools. As you can see, you want to make sure you have your butterfly needle. Take it out the package. You want to connect this part right here over to the holder. So you pull it out, connect it to the holder. And that's where you're going to go ahead and put the tube in. Have your stuff together. You want to get your alcohol. Open it up properly. And you want to go ahead and place the alcohol on the patient going into a circular motion. A circular motion. Let's go ahead and place the tourniquet on the patient. Make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure you still can see the patient's veins. You only remove the cap and the needle when you're ready to go. Make sure the bevel is up and place the needle directly into the patient's vein. Once you see some blood flow through the lining, you wanna go ahead and push your tube into the holder and allow the blood to go into the tube. As you can see, now the tube is being filled with blood. You want to go ahead and remove your tourniquet. Allow the tube to fill up. Try to get as much blood as you can. So the tourniquet is being removed because it's been past one minute. But once you see the blood actually going into the tube, you can actually remove the tourniquet. So go ahead and put the guards over the needle. Apply pressure. You want to make sure you close it up. And make sure that it goes directly to the sharps container. But before you remove the needle, always make sure that you remove the tube first. So the patient will get a hematoma. And this is how you use a butterfly needle.